For this exercise, we're gonna start out with a full retraction, and then we're gonna go into a nod in that position like this. Now, as you do this, you may wanna just relax your jaw, gap between the teeth, tongue of the roof and mouth, or else you might find that your jaw hits your trachea here and it's hard to breathe, hard to swallow. So, you just relax that jaw, so you go backwards, and that jaw might even push forwards, especially if you have a lot of range of motion. Now, while you do this exercise, you may feel stretch, you may feel pain, but you wanna monitor and see if there is any green lights, yellow lights, or red lights. Now, if we go, and you're really limited, and as you do more repetitions, you go farther, farther, that is a green light, we're getting more range of motion. If you have symptoms during it, and the symptoms get worse, that is a red light. If they get better, that's a green light. Um, if you have symptoms before and you're just resting and then they get worse afterwards, or if you have a certain motion or something that triggers the symptoms and you retry it afterwards and it's worse, that is a red light. Um, and then again, if it gets better, green light. Um, you may even have shoulder or something in the arm and you can trigger it with a certain motion. You can retest that, look for any green lights or red lights. Um, and green light, keep going, red light, stop. Red lights are not bad. You just wanna keep an eye out for them because if you push into them, they will most likely make things worse. If uh, you hit them, many times it's actually a sign that we're moving towards a new phase. You just need a new stretch or a new direction or maybe a different force. Um, sometimes you can hit these red lights if you are pushing too far into the motion. So you can try this again later after things cool down and just try it very lightly and see if you can find a green light with that or even like a yellow light. Now, if you hit a yellow light, just keep going, but monitor that you're not hitting, you don't move into a red light because yellow lights can turn into red lights pretty quick. So keep an eye on it, but you can keep going if it's a yellow light. Now, if you have symptoms in the hand, arm, shoulder, in between the shoulder blades, up in the neck, um, there can be a change in the, the uh, location of symptoms as you go. So if you have pain in the arm and then you start doing more repetitions, it may start centralizing, which is a sign of centralization. So if it starts going here, and then the next step would be in between the shoulder blades or kind of like mid back or the shoulder blade itself. And then the next step will be upper trap, then side of the neck, and then following side of the neck, that is centralization. That is the number one thing that they found in the evidence that you're moving in the right direction and it's a green light, so keep going. Um, it's also a sign that, that uh, is showing in the research that things will get better really quickly if you keep going with the stretch you're doing. Now, if you get the opposite, maybe you have pain in the neck and then you keep going, then side of the neck, upper trap, and then you feel it, start feeling it here, like in the shoulder blade, and then you start feeling the shoulder and maybe, or it may start moving down into the fingertips. That's peripheralization, that's a sign to stop, red light. Now, if you get a red light, you can always try again later, but you wanna go lighter later and just see if you can turn that into a yellow or green light with a lighter stretch into it. If you still hit a red light, stop the stretch.